What is a power station's real superpower? It's not just the watts, it's not the inverter, it's flexibility. For 60 days, I've been testing the Anker C2000's modular superpower, and this is a total game changer. I'm gonna show you three real world scenarios where this one feature beats everything else in my lineup. But many of you in the comments on my last review pointed out a really big discrepancy in my capacity test. So today we're gonna run the gauntlet again and find out the real number. But first, this is scenario one, the fourth thousand watt hour home base right now its main job is silent guardian it's a full-on seamless ups my entire home entertainment system the big tv the sound bar and my gaming system it can all run through this power station the so what is peace of mind if the power flickers my game isn't lost and all those expensive electronics are protected i've also used it to keep my main kitchen fridge running it's 4,000 hours of set it and forget it power now full transparency anchor saw my first review and asked for the 60-day follow-up so i could show you this exact use case we're also going to get to that capacity test first let's break Break this thing apart. This is where that superpower comes to life. It's the 30 second split. And I have to say that the design here is top notch. This connection cable, it's flat, it's robust, and it doesn't stick out more than a few inches from the side. It's a small detail, but it shows they thought about how people would actually use this when it's stacked up. When I need to go, I leave the 50 pound weight behind and grab the 42 pound C2000. Which brings me to scenario number two, the portable workshop. Now I am not running a full cabinet shop I'm doing what most of us do which is a single annoying job that's far away from an outlet this is what I would like to call the old angle grinder test these things are notorious for a massive startup surge this is the kind of tool that will trip a cheap batteries inverter instantly <laughs> And the C2000 didn't even flinch. It handled the surge from this angle grinder perfectly. For me, that is the so what moment. This isn't about Pro Tools. It's about turning a 20 minute job, which is 15 minutes of finding and untangling extension cords into a two minute job. It had the power right when it needed it the most to handle a real tool. That is what modularity gets you. It can handle the work, but what about play? This is scenario three, the weekend warrior's kitchen. And this is where that 42 pound weight really comes in clutch. This is a huge test that I wanna try with any power station and the Anker C2000 can simply handle it no problem. And that is my absolute favorite, the coffee making test. Done. And so this 2000 watt hour unit only used about 2% of its total battery capacity to make a single cup of coffee. That means that you could use this power station for a complete weekend camping trip. As long as you're only making some small meals, making some coffee, it will not of course run anything like an air conditioner or a heater for more than about an hour. But if you're willing to accept those limitations, this thing could be perfect for your camping trip. So we've seen that this thing is very very versatile, but I think it's time to get a little nerdy and answer that question from the beginning of the video, which is how much power is truly inside the Anker Solix C2000? Let's find out. In my first review, I ran a full capacity drain test on the entire 4,000 watt hour stack, and I got just over 80% efficiency. Now, a lot of you in the comments pointed out that other tests in Anker's own labs gave results showing closer to 90%. And those thoughts could be right. Why was my number so different? I had the same question. So I'm running a new, more deliberate test to see if I can get closer to those higher numbers. This is the AGTV gauntlet. The load is this heat gun set to 400 watts. It's a constant resistive load, perfect for a clean test. We're starting at 100%. I'm gonna let this run in the background for the rest of the video. 
And while it drains, let's talk about why this test is different. So what could explain that 80% discrepancy? I've got three theories. First, this is the big one. My first test was on the full 4,000 watt hour stack. That means power had to run from the expansion battery through a cable into the C2000 and then through the inverter. This new test is only the C2000's internal battery. It's a pure test of the main inverter. Second, firmware. It's been 60 days since I first got this unit. This isn't just a battery, it's a computer, and it's entirely possible Anchor pushed a software update that optimized the inverter's efficiency. And third, battery calibration. That first test was on a brand new out-of-the-box unit. The battery is now broken in with dozens of cycles, and it's probably running at its absolute peak performance. So while that final test continues to run, let's get to the final verdict. Who is this for? After 60 days, I can tell you this system isn't for everyone. It's for the hybrid user. It's for the DIYer who needs 4,000 watt hours for the house on Monday, but only 2,000 watt hours for the job site on Tuesday. It's for the homeowner who needs a UPS and a weekend camping battery without buying two different systems. That modular superpower is not a gimmick. It is a 100% game changer, but it's not perfect. Let's do some pros and cons while we wait for the that zero reading on our test. Pro number one, modularity. Obviously, being able to ditch 50 pounds of dead weight is the entire reason this thing is a winner. Pro number two, build quality. This is top notch from the premium packaging to that amazing flat cable. It's a robust connection that doesn't stick out 18 inches. It's also a small detail that makes a huge difference. Pro number three, as we saw with that old angle grinder, this thing handles massive surges without even flinching. Now, not everything is perfect. Here are the cons. Con number one, that expansion battery is just a tank. This is a critical thing to know. The expansion battery is just a battery. It has no ports, no inverter, and no brain. It is useless without the C2000. This is a true expansion, not a second power station. Con number two, it's still 42 pounds. The solo unit is light for a 2000 watt hour battery, but it's still not 100% light. Don't think you're gonna carry this thing one-handed on a long hike. The final number was 1,766 watt hours. That is 86.2% efficiency, and that is a phenomenal result. So a huge thanks to everyone in the comments who pushed for that retest. You were right. The 86.2% efficiency is an amazing number for the solo unit but it's only one part of the entire story. If you wanna see the original gauntlet where I tested the full 4,000 watt hour stack and broke down all of the other features, click on this video right here and I'll see you over there.